I would like to note something really quickly, Nia, before we even get mm. started. There's a section known as dictionary, Nia. Now, <laughs> what do you think dictionary is, Nia? Is it supposed to be an actual dictionary, like full on glossary and everything? As I've realized, this is basically the save area, Nia. But yes, <laughs> shall we get started, Nia? Okay, let's see. This is a work of fiction. People and names appearing in this work are entirely fictional. Okay, hang on. That went too fast for me to actually read. <laughs> Oh! Wait, the, the audio quality for this one's nice. Mm hmm. Oh! Eh? 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 Oi! Well then, that's a bit much. To Oi! Stop. <laughs> Oi! Ah! Okay, rather than a bit much, that's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Reported the X Day incident. April 1st. Why April 1st? Is it because of those animal costume guys? The video that started all this played on the giant screen facing Shinjuku train station. In order to restore Tainted Japan to health, the countdown to X Day will now begin. Our objective is simple. Purge the corruption from the land and make Shinjuku the site of its rebirth. Interesting choice of city. Literally the gang area. If you're afraid, then leave this land. They will not be stopped. But know this, no matter where you are, you will be judged. There are no exceptions. We will reject truth in this world. No longer will the weak be persecuted. Some people were, people appearing to be police officers were tied up in the video. So police are working frantically to trace the broadcast. Prior to the broadcast, a number of officers have been reported missing. The transmission's origin and the officers were never found. And then May arrived. Another video showing the bound officers, like the ones in April, was uploaded. Thank you for waiting, everybody. The time for judgment, judgment is at hand. As we mentioned before, the people here are criminals. In order to cure Japan, such people must be exterminated. Judgment has been passed as a preview of day of X Day. This is not the end. Henceforth, we will continue to meet out justice to aid our nation's rebirth. Our name is... Adonis. Hear me well, yeah. listeners! Make sure that you remember this name, okay? May this world become a paradise! That is uh, so because uh, it was Gunshots rang out during the declaration, and the police officers were shot. The police traced the video to an abandoned building, and confirmed one officer's death. However, other officers' bloodstains were found. The criminal's trail and the missing officer's whereabouts are still unknown. This incident began a chain of heinous crimes that continued into June, July, and August. The number of victims steadily rose. Public scrutiny of the police grew harsh as time passed and police efforts were fruitless. A Roman numeral indicating a countdown and a unique coin believed difficult to counterfeit were found at the scene. Markings on the coin led some to speculate that the once dismantled terrorist organization known as Adonis had been reborn. Didn't they just declare that? It's not speculation, that, that's just there. And then, on September 1st, exasperated by the repeated incidents, the government enacted extreme measures. Shinjuku Quarantine Act. This measure, intended to trap the criminals within the borders of Shinjuku, obviously drew the wrath of the public. Demonstrations bordering on riots broke out, and the government suppressed these and stated that it was for Shinjuku's safety. The government did not stop there. It also adopted unprecedented extra-legal measures. Repeal of the Swords and Firearms Control Law. So people can carry guns and swords now. <laughs> <laughs> to provide citizens a means of defense, firearms were provided to all people over the age of 20 within Shinjuku. It was all under the pretext of self-defense. The firearms and ammo were all coded in order to quickly determine a shooter's identity whenever a weapon was discharged. The criminals have guns, so the people should be given equal access to equal arms. This is the American logic. This is quite <laughs> literally the American logic. Plus, as an extra legal measure, the residents of Shinjuku District exclusively have an obligation to carry fire. OBLIGATION! <laughs> <laughs> fucking what? The law, ratified behind closed doors, was suddenly announced to the public. The police had to obey the government's mandate. 
and the unrest of the citizens trapped within Shinjuku swelled. Though upset, one could say that the citizens were now better suited to survive other incidents. The sheer level of incompetence that has to go on here. It was obvious this plan was full of holes. <laughs> no shit. <laughs> <laughs> on next day, all would be reborn in order for their utopia to become reality. Yes, you have reached the SICPL. Masanobu Mochida, local 32, local station, special region prevention or officer. Yes. I was about to say hi. Uh, I'm sorry. She always hangs up before I can say anything. So, I couldn't tell her no. But the way Shinjuku is now, we can't be certain that it'll just be nothing again. Until three short months ago, it would have been unimaginable for a for a common citizen to be carrying a gun like like we are now. I mean, yes. Yes. Yeah. Huh? Really? <laughs> no, Thirty-two year old guy. <laughs> Can we just note his the size of his ears compared to the size of his chin? He's a monkey. <laughs> Even now, I think you're too bold. Sorry, I guess I should say hard working. <laughs> いまは特防として苦情には平山に嫌味を言われても平山になひびだ。昔だったらすぐに頭に血が上ってたぞ。俺もずいぶん大人になったもんだ。うん。特防はエクスレイ事件の捜査をさせてもらえるわけじゃない
文句あるのか言い訳をするつもりはない見たところ遊びたい盛りだろうそれなのにこんな事態に巻き込んだのは警察として申し訳ないと思う I mean... その銃は身を守るために使うものだ武器として扱うのは許さない Perhaps cowed by Machida's words, they reluctantly lowered their weapons. <laughs> Pathetic. Machida returns the gun he took from the man and shoot them off. It does sound like that big brother type, not gonna lie, in like anime. Yeah, yeah. This is just your probably romanceable big brother. I don't think he actually that, is a romanceable character. Really? Huh. Because they, they introduced him fairly early. Huh. So there's an option in a lot of visual novels where there's going to be that one character that doesn't have any, like, that you meet that's considered, like, your best bro, but he actually isn't a romanceable character. This is the best bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> that just feels sad. That just feels sad now. <laughs> I know. We'll overbook this, won't we? Obstructing an officer is a jail jailable offense. Though they're not exactly wrong for blaming the police for creating this situation. I recorded the firearm number for their guns. I mean, at least they reported the number of the gun. Was I Yes, it's kind of weird to say that I'm used to it, but I can assess the situation now. Once the sword and firearm walls got repealed, I would tremble if I was drawn on. I swear, someone's just gonna pull a sword at some point. <laughs> Considering <laughs> they are very specifically stating swords and firearms law. I wouldn't be surprised. Mm -hmm. Despite my training at the police academy, I lost my nerve on several occasions when someone pointed a gun at me with his hostility. But every time that happened, Machida steps in and protected me. It's all thanks to you, Machida. Watching you handle yourself like you just did has eased my fear of guns quite a bit. Machida puffs down his chest and lets out a carefree laugh. When we return to the station, we could hear the stirring of a commotion. Well, crime rates in Shinjuku are at a record high. Uh, Last month, the criminal claimed responsibility for X Day and started shooting randomly. By uh. standards, gunned him down, and incidents ended without any innocent victims. But there was a talk of thank yous and rewards, and more people started to do the same. The criminal died of his wounds, but investigators found no connection between him and X Day, the theory that he was a copycat criminal. Due to the, this incident, however, the number of people actively carrying guns increased. And everyone has one, but. Hmm. Officer Machida, we don't know who might be listening. Machida looked around and made a sour expression. He lowered his voice. As a police officer, I also want to help solve the X Day cases. All I can do is lend an ear to the citizens that turn to the SRCPO. I parted ways with Machida, and soon I came across a familiar face. 23. Oh. Okay. One boy. This one seems more in strike range. No, not yet. I was just on my way to file a report. We attended the academy together and became friends while we were out drinking. We also got assigned to the same office, so we're drinking and venting buddies. <laughs> oh no, this guy's already been regulated to the friend zone. <laughs> Long time ago. I feel sorry for this guy too. Oh no. <laughs> What about you, Saiki? <laughs> yeah, I have a lot of things I wanna ask you. <laughs> <laughs> well, back back then I would have never I would never imagine things would turn out this way. Yeah, 
やっぱお前はそうでなくちゃ。Without thinking, I flash a smile in response to Saeki's grin. He's a big reason why I can stay optimistic in this job, despite all the dilemmas I face. なんだ誰と話してるのかと思えば、サイキか。New character, new character, new character. New guy, new guy, let's say, let's say. Oh no! Never mind. No, old, old guy. Old guy. <laughs> Look at them. They're, they're both unfortunately pathetic in their own ways. Just. They're not gonna make it. Oh my, I'm all agarica. Yeah. More to gumbari shinaito. At least the right. At least Saiki has a nice voice. Saiki bowed slightly towards Mochida and gave me a look. Oh my, that's why I cut as an akagaina. Ashtamo no mini kundaro. Ah, did I mention that? Saiki dio. Is you can cry my datagana. Oreno to coronite. No mini kiva, oh my, ni zango sasenai de hoshi, the tanomarite, sa. Sorry, Saiki's a little too straightforward sometimes. Ma, conna toki da karana. After I handed my return report off to Mochida, I suddenly remembered something. I should stop by before I head home. Where am I stopping by? Huh? Ah. Uh, huh? Ha. Gun range? Ha. When I have even a little bit of free time, I practice at the station's shooting range. I wanted to improve my skills just in case they're needed, plus, shooting helps. Calm my nerves and deal with anxiety. I took a firing stance and took a deep breath. Even when firing on static targets, I was reluctant to hold a weapon for killing people. I was afraid. The day that I dispelled the hesitation was during training one day at the academy. Flashback time! Mada no kotte tano ka? Sono kao ja, mata mayotte mi tai da na. Ki, I don't think I'm suited for this job after all. Just shooting a target now, but what if I were if I were a real person? I know I'd miss that in in that situation. Koshino, omae wa sa, ju ga nan no tami ni aru to omu. Huh? For catching criminals, right? そこからしてちょっと頭硬いんじゃないか俺は銃を撃つのは守るためだと思ってる誰もが無視でもんじゃない俺たち警察だけに許された守る手段だろ人質を取った犯人の隙をつく逃亡しようとするやつの足止めをする正確な射撃能力があればそれも可能になるでもああ能力が備わってなけりゃ人質をミスミス死なせてしまうかもしれない。犯人を逃して被害を広げるかもしれない。He's his ultimate dating material。くそ。守るために撃つ。そうは考えられないか。Yeah, you're right. The reason we're issued guns is because we're responsible for protecting people。でもさ、星野。銃を持つことを許された俺たちだからこそ、最悪の事態を考えなきゃダメだと思うんだ。Worst case scenario, I mean, when we might have to kill to protect the innocent. Ah, that way, so the Hansai Shan in Ocho, Ubatta to Stemo. Nanika, Mamoru Tamina, Daisho, Kakugo, Stiodor, Moshi, so you sent a go semarat. Oh, my ma, Hansai Shan, Uts Kakugo, Arka. After listening to his words, I understood what the weight of a weapon meant to Saiki. For him, this was not just a tool for killing, it was. It was a means to protect people. After that, I decided to devote myself to training. As Saiki said, conviction alone is worthless. To make sure that I'd be able to protect, I've been training at the range daily. My skills have improved drastically. In fact, marksmanship is my greatest skill. Of course, I doubt my performance in the field will mirror my skill in training. As long as Shinjuku stays this way, as long as the X Day incidents are unsolved, I get the feeling that I'll need to be ready. I aimed my pistol again and raised my head. Before I knew it, an hour had passed. In the end, all my shots have formed a tight grouping in the center. I went out a deep sigh. Sasuga, I kawarazu no udemai dana. Right as I said in voice behind me, I spun around startled. Saiki, you still haven't left. Kekko jikan kakat chatte sa. Iki nuki ni saboro ka to omotta ra. Omae ga kochi kuru no miete kara. Ah, um, were you watching this whole time? You should have said something. Are that you just didn't know me to jama the key night there. So then you're it. Oh, my no shaggy kimi no. Nanka kukuru gao tsukut the yuka. You don't know monoga joka sarilu kare. What the heck? Should I be happy to hear that? No, you don't. Whatever in case you didn't die. Why not so you do you cut a you show can made it. Where's this subtly coming from? You won't get anything out of, of flattering me. Ouch. Saiki let out a small chuckle on my attempt to deflect my embarrassment. 
ここ数ヶ月頻繁に来るようになったのは銃刀法が解除されたからだろ I definitely in intensified my training after weapon bans was lifted because this hunk of metal, which a trained police officer needed conviction to wield, has been distributed to the untrained masses. This is not something to be taken lightly. I'm sure that many of the citizens baffled by the government's policy felt similarly. Some objected to the distribution of guns, but now, but now some people obviously use them. I don't know what they were thinking when they decided to make civilians carry this burden. I have the conviction to shoot. I am a cop. That is my responsibility. I'll fulfill my duty no matter what. But. So no kakugo, motanai. Motenai yip panjinga. Hikigane hitots de hito koroser bukio tenista. Ore mo kashit de omoze. I. I see what you're saying. Even if the government says this is for self defense, I think this is wrong. I'm not in a position to protest it, but I can't approve of the world where people are suddenly made to wield a weapon. Words alone are enough. When the movement comes, my skill needs to prevent civilians from ever having to use their guns. Oh, I can't lose. Well, Psyche struggled away with a bright laugh. As I watched him leave, he looked back at me with a vague smile. And... Ah! Oh, my God. I'm going to be in front of the accuser. <laughs> I could now res resultly answer the question that he had asked me before. I returned to Saiki's smile and set into firing stance with my gun. I pulled the trigger without hesitation, as if to demonstrate my determination. I left the station and walked to my home, where a brisk wind made me shiver. My breath exited my body as a tiny white cloud, and I glanced at the nearby buildings. Shinjuku used to be bustling day and night. Nowadays, it was mostly empty at night after nightfall. Much of society just stopped functioning once Shinjuku became quarantined. Shops, schools, and utilities continued to work to the government's satisfaction, but everything else was non-existent. He couldn't just visit friends anymore. He had to weigh it against being targeted. People didn't know whether they or their loved ones would be the next victims, but they had to go on living somehow. It was hard to put into words just how much I missed life before the quarantine. I know I'm not the only one who's come to this realization. I hurriedly took out my phone, which is displaying Mochita's name. You have a problem with my report? Wondering what I'd do if I was asked to return, I answered the call. Yes, this is Hoshino? Uh, the exit incident in August. Shinjuku Garden was the scene of the crime, and the epi epicenter of much public fear. Acknowledged. I'll head there right away. When I arrived, I quickly scouted the area and assessed the situation. The area was dark and visibly visibility was poor. It'd be tough for me to tell if anyone was laying an ambush in there. Just in case, I drew my side sidearm. I got into the habit of always carrying my weapons, and I have practiced often, but I've never actually used it in the field. But being to be honest, I was nervous. If I was confronted with someone who intended to take their wives of others, I would. I can't hesitate. While cautiously eyeing my surroundings, I approached a sealed gate to Shinjuku Garden. Why isn't Mochida here yet? It seems like it was taking him an awfully long time to get to Shinjuku Garden. While I was debating whether to call him, I hear heard the sounds of footsteps approaching. Ah, uh, is that Mochida? I turned around. Ah! I felt something push against my waist, and then shock courses through my body. I opened my eyes and saw a flickering light. I tried to get up, but my body was numb and unresponsive. I couldn't move. I tried to move my head to at least get a sense of my surroundings. Some... Something's here? I felt the strange pressure around my neck. I wanted to check what it was, but I couldn't even raise my hands. It was as if my body wasn't my own. Still, I gradually regained the use of my hands and I timidly felt my neck. Ah! Is this like... over? I grew pale as if I felt the metallic coldness. What is this? What... It, what's it doing on me? And what am I doing here? Looking around, I saw that the floor around me was covered with what looked like red flowers. Looking up, I could see the moonlight cascading through the stained glass. Am I... in a church? My body was paralyzed for reasons unknown. I was wearing an unfamiliar collar. The ephemeral beauty of the stained glass dominated my attention for the moment. You appear to finally be awake, Miss Hoshino. I'm sure you're surprised to suddenly find yourself here. I very much wanted to speak to you in private, so I arranged to have you collected in this manner. Are you? Did you put this collar on me? Why did you? I cannot give you the answer to those questions at this time. 
Regardless, you will eventually arrive at our humble abode. You have been chosen as a test subject. Henceforth, we will be closely monitoring your actions until X day. When you execute your own form of justice, I promise we will meet. Not like this, but in person. What is your goal? What experiment? What have you done to me? Quiet now, or else you'll die, you know? The oh. color currently around your neck contains a lethal poison. The dose currently in your bloodstream has a delayed effect. It is not a lethal dose. It would be a problem if you died here. I have no idea what they're up to. Everything I learned only made me more tense. Still, as a police officer, I couldn't just sit quietly and take this. After all, the ways coming from the collar mentioned something about X Day. I have to investigate further. I need to at least get some useful information so I can report it. Please do not speak of this to the police. I'd like to avoid taking drastic measures. And surely, you'd feel quite lonely if you were to lose those dear to you. Right? I don't know how much this criminal knows about me, but if they're going to threaten people close to me, I won't forgive you. I'll never forgive you for this! We hope that you're being truthful. We have no interest in impotent self-righteousness. What we seek are noble intentions. The world's full of malice and vague laws, but ideals are clear, formless justice. Will learning the truth change your struggle? Will you lead the rebirth with us? We look forward to learning the answer. Now, show us. Hoshinoichika, show us what justice means to you. I wondered how many, how much time has passed. Despite my, my entreaties, the car was silent. My body was still paralyzed, and worse, I felt it getting harder and harder to breathe. At this rate, if nobody finds me soon, at the thought suddenly crossed my mind, my vision grew dark. Oi, <laughs> <laughs> Somebody found me. Perhaps I would be saved. While clinging on the shred of hope, I looked at the man in front of me. Who, who are you? Me? Once I heard those words, my crippling terror began to subside a bit. However, some doubts stubbornly remained. They were looking for me. And they know what's happening to me? Happened to me? How did they know? How did they know I was here? After having that realization, my would-be savior suddenly seemed more frightening. He must have seen a change in my expression. The man looked at me, and then... He seemed kind of sad, as he murmured that so I couldn't take my eyes off him. Why is he making that face? I couldn't catch the end of his whisper. This voice. For an instant, something clicked in my mind. I'd seen these sorrowful eyes somewhere. A voice that filled me with deep calm. This should have been our first meeting, but I felt like those qualities were familiar. Who, who are you? Just as I opened my mouth to voice that question. Yanagi-senpai! Sononaka. Ah. Kono kubi ato ii. Matchigai nai. Enomoto. The man lifting me in his arms took what appeared to be a leather from a man who was wearing an eye patch. He unfolded the sheet so I was able to see it. As part of the X Day countdown, a woman will be poisoned to death on the 6th of December at 12am. There is only one way to save her. You must enter the unlock code given below into the collar the woman is wearing. Furthermore, if the police are notified, we will immediately kill the woman. Even if you save the woman, you are not to speak of the collar. We will be monitoring your actions through the collar. Should you violate any of these terms, you will be placing her life in jeopardy. Heed this warning well. X day countdown. Why me? Honestly. Honestly, I don't know if I can trust these people. I don't want a tr to die even without even trying. I made my mind up my mind and prepared to speak. Um, if there's a way to stop it, please help me. Ah. The man touched some somewhere on the collar while, while supporting my body weight. I thought I was ready, but I was still scared. Now knowing what's about to happen, I s squeezed my eyes shut. I want... 
I want to trust this band. The moment that thought formed in my head. Oh! I went out of gas as the caller whams me. When I heard their ancient's voice, I worried the darkness would claim me. But soon I felt something change. Huh? I can move? When I slowly opened my eyes, the hand holding me exhaled a sigh of relief. Oh. Yeah, yes, I can feel my body again. Uh, sorry. When I felt the pain in my neck, I thought I was done for. But it seems like I made it. Breathing has finally become easier, so I patted my chest in relief. Is the car off? Oh. What? Um, Yanagi, was it? Thank you for saving my life. I was still woozy, but I managed to stand up and bow to him. Yeah. I turned to look at the other two as Yanagi mentioned them. Um, thank you. 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 I'm sorry, I'd like to give you an answer, but I honestly have no idea. それで納得できるわけないだろう。お前は殺されかけたんだぞ。殺されるだけの理由があるんだよ。そう考えるのが普通だろう。I ほいほい情報を与えられないからな。おい、たける。言いたいことはわかるけど落ち着けって。で、柳先輩、何してるんですかそこに銃が落ちてた。犯人のものからか。あるいは。あ、that's mine. Ah! Yanaki went out a little chuckle when he saw my jaw drop. That'd be very easy to verify. So it was unlikely that he was lying. While Yanaki talked, he opened my police notebook. Does he know me? Uh, excuse me? Ah, uh, uh, what are you? I took my gun and notebook back from Yanagi. I was gonna ask about them once again, but my... Eh? Phone began to vibrate. Ah, uh, pardon me. My superior, I was attacked while we were supposed to meet up in response to a call. Nara,ここに長いしない方がいい。話の続きは場所を変えて仕切り直そう。こいつを野放しにするのか。そりゃ姿くらまされたら問題だけど。ここで捕まえて無理やり連れてっても、こいつの周囲に怪しまれるだろ。I さすが。彼女は警察官だ。逃げはしない。これまでのX-ray だったら、もし逃げて居場所を突き止めて洗いざらい吐かせりゃいい話だしな。Like I said, I'm not running. 
I'm not sensing much from him. I became aware of someone observing me. <laughs> what? What now? He's watching. よ、僕上に首輪の存在は明るみにするなってあったけど。そんな賢そうに見えないし。おい。口滑らせて勝手に自爆しそう。ブラ。さあ、さすが。ない。そのくらいにしか。下毒はできたが、彼女の首輪が
should verify his story. I turn on Hi. the monitor to my PC and click the icons to access the data page restricted to police personnel. Detail information will be classified, but I can find out where he was assigned. I select and search the search field and typed in Yanagi IG. I and oh, ah! I turn around in panic. Hey. Psyche was standing right there. Ah, <laughs> so Psyche! I quickly move my mouse and frantically close the search page! He's still at work. なんだよ。いたらいけないのか。さっき通報があってさ。俺はそっちに借り出されてたんだよ。おかげで新しく報告書を書かなきゃでさ。こんな時間まで残業してたってわけ。I got caught up in something too, but it wasn't anything of import. I need to write a report on what happened, so I came back to the station. お互い災難だな。なんか今日はやたらと通報あったし、ちょっと邪魔して悪い。you aren't bothering me at all. You actually cheered me up a little bit. Oh. What's she do? Psyche. They're the same. They're the same constant. Reliable people that they've always been. Now that I'm in this crazy situation, I'm especially glad that those two are always there for me. <笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> no, I don't think I need to. いってみるだけタダだろ。持田さん、ああ、見えてたよりになるさ。それに。お前かなり疲れてるみたいだし、同期の目をごまかせると思うなよ。さては。夕飯食ってないな。ああ、I I turned back to my workstation and entered Yanaki IG once again. He apparently started in a local jurisdiction and was assigned to headquarters investigation section 1 four years ago. So he did work in investigation section 1. He quit the force this year. He's 28. He should have had a long career ahead. None of the available information on him indicated that any problem had come up. He seems like the most collected of the three, like someone you could count on. Frankly speaking, I didn't want to believe he was involved in anything related to X Day. It almost feels like he wasn't even around Shinjuku. But all the X-Day's incidents so far have been large events using video sharing sites. But they give advance, advance notice to specific people. There's only so much I can learn on my own. I need to talk to Yanagi and the others. I didn't know where Yanagi's group would get me, so I texted my little brother to say I might have to stay at the station overnight. What if we meet, little brother? Wouldn't be surprised, wouldn't be surprised. After I turned my report in to Mochida, I began drowsily nodding off at my desk. <laughs> Yeah. <sighs> Who the fuck are you? I looked in the direction of the voice and gazed upon a man in a white coat. Nice cat, nice cat pin. Kagayuki Shimeishi. Case Chow no Kagak Sosa Kenkyu Jo Shozoku. Ima was Shinjuk Show de Kido Sosa Shienga Kario Tanto Stimas. Shiraishi Kagayuki. Yarashkne? Eto. Oh, hello. Ichika Hoshino. Hoshino Ichiga. Special Region Crime Prevention Local Office. Oh, so, 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 so. I heard that the C CSI has been temporarily assigned to Shinjuku Station to deal with the X Day cases. Saiki told me once before that the Field Operations Support Team, aka Field Support, was full of eccentrics. He does look rather hot! <laughs> Bruh. But why is Field Support coming to talk to. SRCPO. Um, I don't think there's anything here for field support to pick up. みっとでしょ。俺は君を迎えに来たんだよ。あれ、まだわからない。じゃあ、僕の手を使っちゃおうかな。しだいしでまたワールドアップ死にたいの。うんうんうんうん。ちょっと、ちょっと。出ないと死にますよ。マイデアドボイスフォーミフォーアイサイトラムリング。震えちゃって、可愛いな。俺が知っても君は死なないから、俺の役目はね、君を柳
Of course. Interesting? That's the last thing I called this. Mono a kanga yo da yo? She ni chokmen sru kikai nante, futu ni kitara meta ni naikara ne. Nakara sa. Ore, kimi ni sukok kyo. Doko ka ni tojikomete, ichi ni chiju kansat shtai krai. What? That's a justice smell. He finally let go of my finger. Ja, isho ni yanagi kun no tokoro ni iko ka. Without waiting for my response, Shidai Shi left. I got ready to leave and proceeded to head over to the door with a plate that read Field Operation Support. I took a breath and knocked. A female voice answered. Hello, I'm sorry. What are you doing? I think I'm looking for a doctor. It's interesting. I'm not sure. 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 Mukai Eriko to Moshimasu. The doctor? <laughs> that guy's actually a big shot! Oh, uh, I have business with Mr. Shidaishi. Is he in? Shunin desne. Shosho much good as I. Mukai disappeared into the room and then. Shunin? Okiak sama des. Omata se shite wa shitsure desu no de. Ima sugu ni kochira ni kite kudasai. Shitsure no no wa kimi da yo? Dare ga dare no se wa o shite ru te? Excuse us. I walked together. Should I she simply looked forward silently? We hadn't known each other for very long, so we didn't have much to discuss. But the awkwardness on top of the situation was getting agonizing. So I tried to initiate small talk with him. Um, so Miss McKay called you director back at the station. Tada no kaikyu da yo. Ora, kesatsuka ni mo aru desho? Junsa, junsa bucho, kebu hotte sa. The people in the crime lab work for the police, but aren't, they aren't police officers. So that didn't explain how she thought she had become a director. Ore ga shunin na no ga so on na ni igai? Ah, but not, not enough. I was just so. Uh, uh. Ore mi tai ni usan kusai yatsu, zenzen shunin ni mie na itte koto da ne. Soko ma de itte koto wa sukunakara zo omotte wa itan da. Ah, so ka, so nan da. Kimi itte mita me de hito o handan suru nda ne. Ah, ore mo so da shi, waru i koto ja nai yo. I tried to lie to him, but all I did was dig my own grave. I wish he wasn't so critical of other people too. Before long, we reached an intersection a good distance from the police station. When we paused to wait for the signal, I heard a heavy sigh next to me. He's obviously enjoying this while my life hangs in the balance. Determined not to be jerked around, I changed the subject. We were already outside of Shinjuku Station, so I should be able to ask about the others. Hey. I was stunned that I was denied so abruptly. <laughs> How did you know? I thought you were a profiler? プロファイリングするっていう仕事でね。この数年の間にプロファイラーも事件の捜査に加われるようになったものの、捜査一課の人が目を光らせてるからあんまり好き勝手できないし。え、大志さん、ディスアポイントメントオンヒスフェイス。
まあ、さ柳君たちと合流するまでは詳しい話をするつもりはないけど。She has completely unraveled my exact thought process. そんなにむすっとした顔しないで。他人を分析するのは職業病みたいなものなんだ。I blew past b e r s and was just astonished now at how thoroughly he could read my thoughts. The light changed and Shidaishi walked away. Intentionally fell behind, allowing a bit of distance between us and two locks! After that, we arrived at the corner that was lined with old buildings. This area was lively earlier, but it was now utterly devoid of foot traffic and shrouded in ominous darkness. s a i s h i pointed to a building with shuttered windows on the first floor. This building is the first floor. I don't expect much of a welcome. Oh. It, no, I didn't. I was so. My ekid. Tired money, he told that I can't eat. I see. I started after Shidaishu, who has suddenly entered the building.、Mm-hmm. Then I noticed the attendant's name plates. Fifth floor. Detective Agency? Ah, so the Hyo Satsu and Namai Daka Kara Kini Shinai de. So they are the Hyak Shinai to Oite Chau Yo. I hurriedly ran up the stairs after Shidaishu in a panic. And then. Wow, this place is nice. I finally set my foot into this destination for the evening. Kitana. I'm going to go to the next one. Ah, hi. In the room were the three men I met at Shinjuku Garden, along with Shidaishi. Their expressions were all different, but I felt they were all sizing me up. At a loss for what to do, I took a seat on the sofa nearest me and watched Yanagi. The mood seemed a bit chiller, chillier than it was during our first encounter. Just then, Shidaishi emerged from behind with a part- partition with a cup of coffee. Set it down in front of me and then slowly took a seat next to Yanagi on the arm of the sofa. <laughs> Oh, that's a petty face. I hope that's true. Sasuko, Sasuko coldly prodded me to speak, but not even glancing up from the computer he was, that he was using. Oh, my, that's a Hayak Kairi Taitaro. まあまあそんなツンケンしたところで何もいいことはないよせっかく第三者の人目に触れないところに来たんだしここは彼女の首輪をじっくり鑑賞するべきじゃないかな白石さんそれが目当てでおとなしくこいつを連れてきたんじゃんそうだけど何か問題ある<笑> I couldn't just simply trust people who would let Shidaishi behave like this. I b e t my mouth to vent my rolling indignation. ひとまず自己紹介でもしておくか。これから協力して動いていくことになるかもしれないからな。Shock from both the statement being interrupted made my eyes go wide. Working together? What do you mean? Without answering my question, Yanagi simply laid a sheet of paper on the table. When I picked it up, I saw it was a writ. Written with the same red lettering as the earlier note. We have seen that you possess the skill to assist Ichika Hoshino. She is one of our sympathizers and a woman with the potential to inherit our will, to treat her with courtesy. Should any harm come to her, we'll have no choice but to kill you all. Calling me a sympathizer and threatening them? I was racked with shock, fear, and confusion. Nonetheless, we will bear no ill will towards your group. On the contrary, we would prefer to join hands. You, who question the form of righteousness that the police cling to, would surely find our concept of justice more agreeable. Of course, we do not expect you to be persuaded by mere words. So please try to grasp the truth of the X Day incidents. Discover our true intentions. You have until midnight on January 1st. We'll be watching you via Hoshino Ichika. What on earth do these people want? Joining hands? Does that mean these people are potentially murderers too? And there's not a word about the collar. They said they'd be watching through me. So I'm gonna be wearing it forever? Disturbed, I put down the letter. Sasazuka spoke instantly as if he was waiting for me. On your own? I raised my voice at him without thinking. But I hadn't joined the X Day thugs at all, so I couldn't let unchecked accusations stand. 
嘘をついているようには見えないねつってもそれ白石さんの主観だし本当のところはわからないんじゃあれ珍しいな榎本くんが俺を否定するなんてさんあいやあいやいや白石さんにケチつけたんじゃないですからただ嘘を見抜かせないようにとかそういうことできる人間もいるし他人の本質なんてわからないもんだから And then what the look was, I'm seeing that, he, that gave me a different image of him than I had earlier. They might have their own set of unfortunate circumstances, but that doesn't mean I can let them pin this all on me. We don't know what the criminal wants, but. I sat on his cell phone looking at Yaniki. He nodded in understanding. He mentioned justice in this letter. When the criminals spoke to me through the caller, they were fixed on justice too. When the caller was put on me, the criminals spoke to me for a little bit. I felt like I was being interrogated as was stated. I had no clue why I was targeted. I didn't understand the criminals' claims and as a police officer that I've done no wrong. ほっておくつもりもない。柳先輩。榎本。たとえ彼女がスパイだったとしたら、俺たちは犯人側に知られて困るような情報をつかめてるか。疑うのはいつでもできる。だが、信じないと始まらない。X-ステージ事件を追う
Oh, he's older. Cyber Hanzai Taisak Kanita. Sasazka. Ejo. That explains so much. And Amoto's introduction was so dynamic that this feels so unlucky! Thinking back to what I ever heard here in the office, I remember hearing it about cybercrime prevention a few times. I recall that division was quite difficult to get into. His skill must be the real deal if he got in at his age. Anyways, it couldn't be a coincidence that everyone here was related to the police. It's the reason you all clicked the forces because you questioned the righteousness of the police, like the leather mentioned. I knew I was priding, but I figured I might as well get, take a shot. Sasasuka and Enamon averted their eyes. Maybe they didn't want to talk about it. Only Yanagi looked me in the eye and answered my question. <laughs> I see. They obviously all had their own baggage. That was why all these fellow ex officers had gravitated to each other to pursue the case. I couldn't understand that much. Especially she spoke flippantly while waving the no around as if to break the tense mood. In his own eccentric way, Shitaishi brought up a very valid point. Daishi, you still work with the police, so how did you know about all this? If the message are to be trusted, I'll be killed if the police know about this. Huh? Huh? Ah, so he was actually the one who found it. He smiled as he, as he said that. It seems to me he was more amused than concerned. Oh, that's right. The first letter was a notice, so the second one was delivery planted here. After they confirm my rescue. The first letter leads me to believe someone currently in investigation AQ, HQ is involved. But the second letter here in this office, the person who put this call on me had come here before the others had returned. That seems unrealistic. The culprit would have needed to track these three to avoid encountering them. There were too many possibilities. But one suspicion within my mind grew. Huh. My head snapped to, to attention after I heard Sasuke. Sasasuka's sudden remark. Sasasuka. Now, now hold on a second. Why are you calling me a pet cat? I didn't want people to see my color, so I done my best to hide it. So then, you are not going to be able to hide it. So then, you are not going to be able to hide it. So then, you are not going to be able to hide it. So then, you are not going to be able to hide it. So then, you are not going to be able エクス事件の主犯と言われてるテロ組織アドニスのシンボルなお前も見たことくらいあんだろはい持ち帰って白石に調べてもらったがこれまでの事件現場に置かれていたコインと一致したエクスデーのカウントダウンを表す Someone related to X Day put this collar around my neck. That means finding out who did this will be no easy task. There is only so much headway I'd be able to make on my own. Sasasuka raised his voice again, irritated. I sat there not understanding the question. その首輪の向こうにいるやつ。調べるのは自由にって言ってたよな。いやでもまずくね。あっちの不利益になるようなら殺すみたいなこと言ってたし、無理に外そうとしたら殺す。でも調べるのは自由にしろ。馬鹿
任せてみる気はないか Um, it's not dangerous, is it? 犯人の目的はお前を殺すことじゃないルールに反さなければむやみに殺さないそれははいその相手が調べるのは自由にしろと言ったささずかの言う通りたどられない自信があるんだなら大まかな構造だけでも知っておけば今後対処しやすくはなると思う Yaniki was persuasive. They could kill me whenever they felt like it, so there had to be a reason they had it yet. That was the weakness we could exploit. Oi! Are they going to force me or not? 10 seconds? What's wrong with this guy? Please, please do it, Sas Sasuka. And please have provoked them. I had no idea how he would examine it. I didn't know anything about his skills. But I thought it was the right call because Yanagi said we would be collaborating from now on. Well, Sasuka was fiddling with his computer. I couldn't move a millimeter. With the final sting of pain come, but the car caller miraculously fall free. But the grunt! Sasuka. Stop typing and the clocking of the keyboard ceased. I know. I know. Eh? Kanpai ってことか Sasazuka kun de mo tachi uchi dekin ain jya Soto level ga takai ってことだね Maji ka yo Oi, Takeru Mattak seika na shi na no ka Uru sei na I know. I know. I know. I know. Um, so which is it? Sasazuka kun ga ai mai na ii kato o suru no wa Kaya shi i kara Level wa takai 壊す覚悟なら侵入くらいできるそれやったらそいつが死ぬまあ<笑>簡単には突破できないセキュリティだって分かっただけでも十分成果なんじゃないもう一つ監視カメラはついてないほう十分な成果じゃないさすがは天才ハッカーのタケルくんお前のパソコンの中身流出させるぞ<笑>、えー、やめてくださいそれだけは絶対にやめてください I don't get all of it bye カーディンリアクトウェブリトライ I wouldn't die from anything that he did. I could take some relief from that at least. Even a programmer's skills, Sasuko, Sasuko was unable to glean any valuable information, so it won't come off easily. So, he can't see it. So, no, could be a guy. X stage any conke stayed in a Congo. Take a car, you want to take a car. Boy, I can't take a I didn't know Sasuko had got so close that he jumped at hearing his voice so near. What? Gosh, I get a home, I know. We're in confusion. I look pleading with Yanagi and he just nodded in resignation! Ah, another hole. I quickly turn on my phone. Sasuke, I immediately snatched it away! I don't know how to explain it from the beginning. I don't know how to explain it. He took my phone and went back to his desk. With a brief comment, Sasuka tossed my phone back to me. I looked at the screen and saw a sketchy looking app that's been installed on my phone! I don't know what he did, but he blocked the phone tap they were using for interception, I think. Yeah. He was correct, but he was being such an ass I couldn't just accept what he said. Yanagi's word did not. Thing to reassure me. I only felt more easy around this girl! Okay, I guess we're gonna have to wait for the Is everybody here investigating the X Day incidents? But how? What the? What the hell was that for? So, you have to make sure you have to make sure you they're not listening to me at all. To investigate the case on their own, they all must have considerable skills. But I didn't feel any concern for me, or any sense of cooperation from them. Maybe because they suspect me, but I really just want to know what's happening. When I saw a pleading with the Yanagi, he sighed! <laughs> So, she's a 
September and October? I thought they September 6th like, died and nothing actually happened in October, did it? Countdown to it, 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 Incidents have been have been reported, but you have to work on the case that you've been assigned by the police department, don't you? ジモトはきちんとこなしてるよ。与えられた仕事は。ここだと誰に縛られるわけでもないし、俺なりに操作できるからね。Are <笑> I had many more questions, but I felt like I wouldn't get anything from Shiraishi. He would definitely just give me some kind of flippant response or his thoughts. Anyways, I might just solve the problem I've been given. So everything I've learned so far, the culprit who attacked me were undoubtedly related to Exter. Those criminals were also aware that Yanagi's group of ex-officers was investigating Exter. On top of that, they were pushed into a course of action that possibly led me to join them. The criminal claims that this group that was investigating the case had the same ideals as the criminals. But still, that doesn't explain Shidaishi, who's still employed by the police. He said that he discovered the first letter and took it to Yanagi. I couldn't imagine that he did it did that on its own volition. It would have been easy for Shidaishi to plant the letter in his office. Shidaishi burst into laughter when he saw me looking at him with narrow eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Guilty as charged. Well, that's what I I get for trying to hide it. Might as well. I was a little scary, but I screwed up my courage and just said what I was thinking. Should I she? You're obviously take take an awful lot of of pleasure in my reaction. Why wouldn't I be suspicious of you? So だね。俺が犯人なら、このポケットに隠してるスイッチを押して、今すぐ君を毒殺できちゃうかもしれない。I shall see that she's eyes narrow and I instinctively flinch. Shiraishi, Hoshino de Asobu no Yose. Koitsua Omino Omocha than I. So you are at him. Kanojo singing Sreto Omoshiro in the name. I was done letting this jerk rile me up. I shall hostile glance towards Yanagi, who spoke very deliberately. Ima Uritachiga Hanaser Joho wa Korekreda. So Sabatsukirishi, Konkai no Kotomo Shirab. Everyone turned to look at me. In order to remove the collar, the best course seemed to be discovering the truth behind Exter, and we can't even tell the police. What can I possibly contribute to an investigation of this difficult case? Adding to my burden of self-doubt, the men gathered before me have all been researching Exter's case from the start. It was like a well-organized production. Yanagi's sentence was immediately interrupted by the window abruptly opening. Uh, Who in the fuck are okay, you? So. What the? This is the fifth floor! How did he get here? Who is that? Am <laughs> 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 I surprised? I hastily hid my collar, but this seemed to be a familiar occurrence to the others, and they didn't react much. I guess I saw what the man who had climbed into the room was wearing. He's wearing a police and SP badges. Is this man part of your team? In response to the question, everyone else in the room made a complicated expression! お客さんならデナオソーかそうしてくれるとありがたいあとはいつも言っているが来るなら扉から入ってきてくれだって閉まってるしいつも入れてくれないからとにかく今日は帰れ<笑> Hi. He smiled and used the door to exit the premises out of the window. <laughs> Just body. I don't know. Body. You don't know. She is too bad. Oh, so that's good. Left the room to check. Yanagi spoke. I know to go. Next day, she can also such a no order that you'll mamor to you in him when it's a dude. Case to KB, Kegokano. Oh, huh. Covering you? The police are giving you protection while you freelance? Okazaki-kun was so it did a good old one to no to go to a don't and that on a do you do the SP or that you need to get a look at it. That's not it. So the police do know about them. HK security police division or SP for short. 
Their way, their jobs was to protect VIPs and endangered individuals. Did the police have a reason to protect them? So it the Jijong Argana Okazaki Kenua, Konkaino Ken or Kizakari to Wakino Ikanai, Kubiano Kotoka Bartara, Kakujitsni Mendoda. Ah, he is directly the police, actually, so that would make sense. Mm -hmm. It didn't seem that sharp to me, but you can't judge a book by its cover. Entering the window was pretty suspicious. One can never be too too cautious. He was eavesdropping the whole time, wasn't he? <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. I wanted to get this caller off immediately. We need to investigate X day to do that. Since I couldn't report this to the police, it was obviously better to have existence. Can I really trust this squad? Was it really the right call to collude with them despite being police officers? Honestly, I was hesitant. I have a bit more time to think about it. There was a strong fire in Yanagi's eyes, and it drew me in. He had a good impression of him since he was the first to help me when I had been poisoned. Thank you. A lot has happened, so I'm really confused. But I'll collect myself and think about it. In case I need to contact anybody, I exchange phone numbers with everyone. Well then, I'll be back at night. One day at the rays of the morning sun, I left the detective office. Oi. I turned Oi. around to see Sasuke there. What is it? お前、なんで迷った考えさせろって言ってたけど、お前に俺たちを拒否る理由ってあるの嫌なぎさんはああ言ってたけど、お前がどんな答えを出すにせよ、お前自身がXレイ事件の手がかりになるは変わらない。少
今言ったこと忘れるな。Leaving me with that, Sasasuka went back inside without a second glance. Feeling like a fugitive, I checked behind me once I reached the intersection. I saw him go back inside, so I knew he wouldn't have come after me, but still. I wanted to hurry up and get home. I was staring at the red light when I was. Suddenly tap on the shoulder! I jumped in surprise and spun around! Not knowing why he had approached me, I nodded cautiously. That, that's right, I had a request from them. It was a detective agency, so I thought that would be a good bluff, but his eyes went wide. Uh, <gasps> oh! uh, Alarmed by the sudden twist, I thought back to what Yanagi said. I knew that Yanaki was independently pursuing the x day cases. In other words, this man knew the detective agency was just a fraud! Regretting such an obvious lie, I scrambled desperately for cover. They made an exception for me! I had nowhere else to turn, so I begged them and they took my, all my job. He's cute. <laughs> yes! I needed their help. I had no choice. So, so it was very difficult. The signal changed, so I'll be going off now. Goodbye. I tried to leave as quickly as possible. Ah! Ah, wait. Woman's one night run is dangerous. I'll send you to the house. You can stay here. Don't worry. Look. Uncle Saki took my hand and started walking. He's pushing that I expected. What do I do? Ah, 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 I'm glad my holster concealed under concealed under my coat. If not, he know that I was a cop. No matter how many times I said I was fine, he wouldn't listen, and now we're near my home. I didn't prompt the subject, but he'd been talking about the detective agency the entire time we've been walking. ね、安心して。とっても優秀な人たちの集まりだから、きっと君の依頼をこなしてくれるよ。well, they were police, so that makes sense. Majime de Shin no Tsuyo Tachinanda. Tabu Kimimo Seshite Keba Wakarto. Akasaki's gentle smile made me a little curious about why he was assigned by the police to protect the group. Matane. I went as little do with him as possible, but if he was protecting Yanagi's group, I'd run him to again if I went there. Bye bye. Ah, yes, thank you very much for your help. I stared at his back as he walked away. He spoke as if he knew quite a bit about Yanagi's group. They're the people he's protecting, so that's perfectly natural, but only a certain caliber of a person worked in SP. There should be many other people in this town worth protecting in a city this dangerous. Yet he was watching Yanagi's group. Something definitely off. The longer I thought about it, the more I felt like I couldn't trust him. Begin with, the first letter indicated that the criminal was in the station, or that there was a traitor in the ranks. Why me? Even more questions now filled my head. A sympathizer. The Yanagi's group and Okazaki were winged, I had no idea who that term applied to. I couldn't think of anyone who would sympathize as perpetrators of X Day murderers. Who put this collar on me? What did they want? I don't know anything. When I got home, I sat on my bed to think instead of changing my clothes. What should I do now? Let's travel the maze of twisty passenger passages all alike. No. Who's the brother? Who's the brother? Katsuki Hoshino, Hi. 18. My brother Katsuki came into the living room. <laughs> the clock read 7 a.m. It was about time for him to wake up. Morning. Sorry I didn't make breakfast. Nope, I'll rest a bit and then head into work. I'm busy this evening, so I think I'll be home late. That, Katsuki left the room. Normally I would say I'll make breakfast now and then force him to eat it, but honestly, I don't have the strength now. Frankly, I had my hands full. I need to get some sleep. I wasn't in the mood to do anything, so I plopped onto my bed and closed my eyes. But slumber didn't take me. In the end, I did sleep awake and it was time for work!